Thank you. New at 6 as the new school year begins. A warning about mutant head lice in several states, including Texas. New research suggests new head lice that's resistant to many over-the-counter products. ABC 7's Natalie Granda spoke to pediatricians and is in the studio with more. Natalie? Yeah, guys, it's a concern for Mary, many parents out there as the school year starts, and that is head lice. The parasites affect up to 12 million people a year, and the fight to kill the bugs is getting harder as new research shows super lice is becoming resistant to treatment. Four folders for each class. Folders and notebooks all go into Harmony's backpack as she and her mom get ready for the first day of school. I have some erasers. Some but Harmony's mom, Melissa, says she's sending her I'm off to school, school with one more thing advice to protect yourself from head lice. Not sharing brushes, um, clips, hair ties. It's every parent's concern, but the big fight against this little bug might be getting bigger, as a new report shows that lice are becoming more resistant to treatment products. Red, and it blocks their neurologic pathways. But now there have been mutations, and the lice are no longer responding to the pyrethrins. And so, uh, medications are becoming less and less effective. The recent report took lice samples from 30 states and several states, including Texas, showed lice developing a greater resistance to the over-the-counter treatment. They may have to use a more of the RID or they may have to leave it on for longer. But for schools in the area, head lice isn't enough to keep the children home. On AISD's website, it states your child should not miss one day of school due to nits or lice. We ask that your child return to school the following school day after treatment, and that if a chronic untreated infestation persists, your child may be sent home from school until treated. We want the kids to miss as little school as possible, and lice is a parasite, but it doesn't really carry any other diseases. However, parents think more precautions should be taken to protect not just their child, but their classmates as well. They should be taken out of school and given a doctor's note. Doctors say parents shouldn't worry just yet and to talk and remind their children not to share brushes or hats before they zip up and head off to school. Now, pediatricians advise parents to leave the product in just a little bit longer, and if that doesn't work, take your child to the doctor for treatment. From the Kennedy Broadcast Center, I'm Natalie Granda, ABC7 News.